may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! One, welcome back to the channel. Share, subscribe, like this video. Make sure you put your prayer request in the bottom. Hope you're about there. It's having a pleasant eclipse day so far. We've had earthquakes here, believe that or not, in my area, and we've had them here in Kentucky also. So the earthquakes continue. Over 40 of them still going on in New York and New Jersey. So we're quaking and shaking all over the place. Now, so far, everything seems to be calm. I ain't heard no crazy reports of dogs and cats falling from the sky yet but from the, what the bible code tells us it's after this that we got to be watching uh let's see well first of all i need to thank uh, brother virgil for sending me the laptop he was concerned that mine was not doing as well and was having so many issues so he sent me a, a laptop that uh, he wasn't using he had a couple of them and i uh, haven't checked it out virgil because i'm still on the road I've done all my tests today, and I, but I did pick it up before I, I got going today, and I appreciate that. I want to thank Cindy also for the little tree she sent me, and I love that, and the Reese candy. I can always use that when I'm stressed. That's usually when I want to eat it. And today's been one of those stressful days. I'm out and about on the road. Like I said, everything's kind of been shaking here, so we've been having the earthquakes. On top of everything else, I think they said there was one in Charleston, and there was one down on Kentucky side where I was at today, but not that far in the Sandy Hook area. So, earthquakes galore. So today, like I said, if you're out and about, just keep your eyes open. They said there could be a terrorist attack today, or God only knows what. But they're saying it could be a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I just know they took a lot of preparation for this day with NASA, CERN, and everybody else getting involved. They definitely know something we don't know. Now, the Bible codes just stresses to us that after this day, judgment will start to roll out. And I believe it's already begun with the earthquakes and everything else. The warning signs are all there. Now, most people, if something doesn't happen today, they're going to just go about their merry way. I suggest you don't do that. The Bible code pretty much lays it out. But after the day, things are going to get very interesting from here on out. That's why I told you every day from this point on, be listening to for the show far that's why we tell you that a lot of people's going to laugh and mock just like they did back in noah's days about this day but this day was very important and god stressed it to me five times how important this eclipse was well everybody else says it's garbage and it ain't nothing let me tell you something they're going to find out very soon that it was it was definitely very important Let's see, let's get on here and start going through the news. I had a bunch I'd like to talk to you about. There's quite a bit coming in as usual. We have the unstability around the world right now everywhere. It says PM Netanyahu, there is a date for the Rafa invasion. This will happen. Now remember the other day, God gave me the 10th, which is two days from now. So we need to watch and see if maybe that is it or when Iran strikes them. But for some reason, that popped in my head. Could be nothing, but we'll wait and see. Israel has set a date for a long-planned invasion of the southern Gaza town of Rafah. Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, Netanyahu, I will learn how to talk eventually, people, declared a video briefing on Monday night and numerous reports of progressing uh, hostage talks with Hamas. Today, I received a detailed report on the talks from Cairo. Netanyahu said, we are working constantly to attain our objectives. First and foremost, the release of all the hostages and achieving the total victory over Hamas. He emphasized the victory requires entering Rafa and eliminating the terrorist battalions there. This will happen. There is a date. 
shortly after the White House said it's not received any information on a date regarding an Israel operation in Rafah, which our country is trying to control Israel. That's what the code says, and that's what we're seeing in the press. Amid increasing protests against Israel's government in recent days, an Israel delegation traveled to Cairo and to negotiate an improved offer to a possible final push to reach the ceasefire before Israel armies enter Rafa. Now, he just said they're going in no matter what. The U.S. mounted a pressure campaign. That's the one where God is not very happy with, and we're about to see the consequences of that. To prevent Israel from entering the town, which shelters hundreds of thousands of Gazans who have fled the fighting. The IDF on Sunday announced it had withdrawn almost all of its troops from Gaza Strip, a move that is meant to prepare the army for the expected incursion into Rafa, Defense Ministry Gallant says. Now, the White House stated on Monday the new offer has been sent to Hamas and all the sides were waiting on a response. Hamas pretty much already said it's garbage. Contracting numerous reports to international and domestic media outlets over the 48 hours, an Israel official told the Times of Israel on Monday evening, Two sides aren't even close to a deal yet, like I just said. Hamas, the official said, hasn't yet provided a list of the Palestinian prisoners it wants to, Israel to release. While Israel hasn't said which uh, prisoners it would be ready to free in a potential deal, Israel would release Israel would release 900 terrorists from its prisons in the first uh, phase of the deal, including 100 who were serving life sentences, Al Jazeera reported on Monday. The return of civilians to the northern port of Gaza Strip is the focus of the current negotiations, the Israeli office told the Times of Israel, noting that the talks made clear that Hamas leader in Gaza, uh, Sinwar, felt it was uh, a strong position. An Israel senior official involved in the aren't talks told uh, Army Radio on Monday evening that very uh, significant conversations were held in the last hours. The U.S. has taken sufficient lead in exerting heavy pressure on the med med mediators. In other words, trying to force Israel into something they don't want to do, which we're about to see the, the outcome of that. The American proposal is far-reaching. It has very broad mandate. No one can say that Israel's rope is short. All the elements are the movement IDF forces to return the, of the Gazans to the northern strip of Gaza, he added. Israel's political and security cabinet will meet Tuesday evening to discuss the progressing hostage deals uh, and preparations for the Rafah operation due to the possible to make a final decision on regarding both issues. What we have is America trying to insert its control over everybody, including Israel. Now, that's why the X was formed today. That's what the Bible code tells us. It's right there. It's very clear. Jesus actually signed it himself with the Alpha and the Omega, his Aleph and his Toph, which is basically his signature, which is also the signature that is being placed over America today. It's not just an X, it's an Aleph and a Toph. That's the beginning and the end. He let us know that the beginning and the end is here. Most people that think that's hilarious and everything else, they will shortly find out that it's not that funny. Now, we've been trying to wake people up for years that this was coming. God told us over three years ago to get ourselves ready. And that's what we've been doing. We've been telling everybody, shouting to the rooftops, just like God was shouting, shouting to the rooftops today with this X. Most people thought, just like we thought they would, it's funny and it's hilarious. And they mocked him. But that will come back to haunt them very soon. It says U.S. fortifies the Baltics. We talked about this, about what is going on in the Baltic region. I told you that literally the Baltics look like World War II. It says the U.S. fortifies the Baltics and the Scandinavia ahead of developments NATO command center in Kiev, German bridge in the Sawalski, uh, Sawalki uh, quarter. The U.S. is setting up arms and ammunition depots in Scandinavia. Scandinavia. I will learn how to talk eventually. German and Russian soldiers face off in the Sawalski Gap quarter from today as the development of a German bridge in Lithuania begins. The Germans will try to stop together with the Polish, will try to stop together with a Polish army as possible Russian advance from the Belarusian kilogram. That's what we've been telling you about this gap and how important it is. Russia wants the gap, okay? It's a 90-mile stretch. I know it don't seem like a lot, but it's very mountainy, uh, 
not easy to access. So it's hard for NATO to defend this gap. The gap exists between Poland and Lithuania and Belarus and Kilingrad. Kilingrad, in case of a World War III, which we all know is coming, God's pretty much told us, they've got to have that because they the only way to Kilingrad is by air. Now, if there's a World War III, they'll shoot the planes down. So they know they can't go by air, by air and they know they can't go by sea. They'll sink their ships. So the best way is a land crossing. So they want to take the gap so they can get in and out of Kilingrad. That's what the whole purpose of this is. The first German soldiers arrived a breath from Russian soil today. Now, I'm telling you, see, all this stuff's building up. We're right at the, the cusp of this. The German defense minister, Boris uh, Petosius, described the start of the mission of a German brigade in Lithuania as a key step to improving the capabilities of NATO forces in an important day on the something. This is the first day since World War II that they have permanently seen, a, seen such a, a, a unit out of Germany. Uh, he said today from Berlin during a farewell ceremony to the initial command of the, Lithu of the Lithuanian Brigade. I know a lot needs to be done on the ground. The infrastructure has to be right. There has to be barracks and uh, condemnation, I think. A lot of still needs to be done on the Lithuanian side. He added, we will do everything we can to equip the brigade because it must be equipped uh, from the beginning. Now, we told you they were sending a lot of German tanks and everything else was being shipped to Lithuania. So that stuff is on its way. It was, it's been on its way for about a week, so it might probably already be there. The brigade, which will be designated Panzer Brigade, or we're going back in time, 45. And, okay. We were fully operational by 2 20, 2027. That'd be too late because it'll be way. That stuff's going to start happening here in the next couple of months will consist of approximately 4,800 permanent soldiers and approximately 200 civilian personnel of German forces and their families. You know, that they're going to have to hurry that up. The Russians, of course, talk about the dangerous escalation and say that they will take countermeasures. NATO center in Kiev, simula uh, simultaneously with the increase of NATO forces in the Baltics, NATO established an uh, advisory body in the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine in which representatives of the member countries of the alliance participate. Now, I've already told you, there's tons of NATO troops there from all kinds of countries, and they're keeping them in schools and hospitals. They're already there. The press is not going to release it. The countries, and people won't believe us, as usual, because the press won't talk about it. So if the press don't talk about it, people don't believe it. And that's just where we are today. But usually everything we tell you, within four to five weeks, it comes to pass every time. That's because we get the news, we dig for it, we find out what everybody's talking about. We don't take these main media networks that are in America and around the world. We don't take their information because it's garbage. According to Moscow, this is a committee which will not only exercise internal control, but it expand powers. See, this is right on Russia's doorstep. The Russian, uh, the Russians impl impl uh, see, imply that the committee will be the NATO-Ukraine liaison and prepare for the arrival of French and other forces in the country, which has already happened. According to the same sources, the arrival of the French forces will be through Romania and, po and not Poland. The Russians believe that Romania will become the central hub for the transfer of forces to Odessa. Now, Odessa is a place what Russia wants also. From Ukraine, the committee includes Ukraine expert of national international projects under the auspices of the Ministry of Fi Finance, oh, some of these names, Minister of Foreign Affairs and Deputy Minister of the Deputy of Defense, Yuri, wow, can't even say that last name, can't even pronounce it, as the representations, uh, the representatives of the Western countries in a, the commission, they're head of the External Oversight Service at NATO headquarters says the surveillance program analyst of the office of the inspector general of the u.s department of defense joseph the head of british internal audit company jc audit training ltd john chesser as well as an international expert so these are just names that's going to head up this new base the united states is building a large stockpile of weapons and ammunitions in the arctic now, here, let's see what this has to say 
The United States plans to build a large weapons depot in the European Arctic region. That was reported by the Finnish newspaper. The publish, publication notes that the reason for the U.S. decision in the accession of, uh, of Sweden and Finland to NATO says the deputy commander of the U.S. Army Logistics Service, General Christopher, hmm, spoke to the upcoming uh, construction of the large weapon depot in an interview. According to the American general, this most likely location for the construction of this large weapon depot is Norway. However, no final decision has ever been has been taken on the matter yet. The fact is that the stockpile are also interested in the construction of, a, the, of this facility in the territory. It says individual NATO members have shown increased interest in building weapons production facilities and ammunition depots on the territory. For example, the famous businessman Evan Tudberg has already announced his intention to create a cluster of munitions factories in Estonia. It is worth noting that the businessman partners in the project will be a founder of the American PMC Blackwater. I'm going to go figure that one out. Eric Prince, the former Swiss military, uh, Swedish uh, beat elder and the founder of the ammunition production company PBM Ammunition. Simply put, the United States is preparing for the logistics for the Nordic and Baltic countries to, in case of war. Sea Shield 24 launched in Romania. Simulation of the transfer of French forces to Odessa, which is in Ukraine. The NATO naval exercise Sea Shield 24 began in Romania. The opening ceremony took place in the port of Constantin, which is the only basically uh, port that is still there in the Black Sea that we can use. In addition to Romania, troops from 12 NATO countries are participating. More than 2.2 thousand military personnel, 27 ships, 17 aircraft, as well as 91 vehicles and vessels are participating in the exercise. The Chief of Staff of the Romanian Navy, Vice Admiral uh, Pinate, noted that the main objective of the exercise is to deal with the enemy submarines as well as to deal with the potential enemy in the airspace of the Black Sea and the Dumbi Rivers. In addition, the Sea Shield should increase the level of interaction between the combat units of the participating countries. And I'm telling you, it's, start, it's literally sounding just like World War II all over again. According to the press service of the Romanian Ministry of Defense, 10 of the 12 states are member NATO nations. These are in addition to Romania, U.S., Britain, Bulgaria, Greece, Turkey, uh, France, Italy, the Netherlands, and Portugal. Two more states are not part of the alliance, Moldova and Georgia. Exercises will take place at sea on the coast of the Black Sea as well as there in the Dumba. It should be noted that the particular exercise of a particular interest, French forces will pass through Romania if when they head to Odessa. The French staff has requested air support uh, with the Raphael. So, once again, the buildup continues there in the Baltics and in Europe. Do you, do you sense what we're trying to tell you here? Now, this has happened before in World War II. It's almost exactly, it's almost repeating itself plan for plan. Lucifer, he doesn't really do things differently. And you're seeing that he failed in World War II. He thought that Hitler was his dude. Now, we know this time his dude's going to be the real one. And he knows that as well. That's why they're firing rockets into the solar eclipse today. That's why CERN is trying to open a portal to give them some backup from some bad guys in other dimensions. That's why you're seeing all this stuff. Now, it's not going to be in the press. You're going to say, well, these people are crazy. You're crazy, Chris. You can keep believing that. But see, Jesus gave us hints. He said it would be just like the days of Noah again. Well, in the days of Noah, the Nephilim almost run over this world and destroy it. Why do you think there was only eight pure-blooded people that God, the DNA wasn't corrupted, that can get God on the ark. That's why. The bloodlines was gone. Now, we've been tinkering around with the DNA, too, trying to create artificial babies and everything else, and that's a no-no. When you start dabbling in that stuff, that's when God puts an end to it, just like he did last time. Now, while the world laughs at this solar eclipse, and they go about their times drinking and having a good time today, they will soon find out that disaster is upon us. They won't see it, just like the people in Noah's time. They wouldn't see it either. They laughed. They mocked. 
we've told them all the math's there, all of our research is there. God has given us the dreams, the visions. It's all there. Like I've said, he's done everything but put a sticky note on everybody's refrigerator in the world. But the rest of the world chooses not to listen to him. We are. Trust the gospel, 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4. Jesus died on the cross for our sins, past, present, future. He died and was buried and rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. Trust the blood of Jesus. We're out of here any time now. If you're lost out there, do it tonight. Do it right now. Call upon him and get saved. Say, Jesus, come into my life right now. I I'm done with this. I don't want to be here. I want to go with you when you come. And you call out to him and trust that he died for you and me and shed his blood for it. And you will be sealed and you don't have to go through this. Because I'm here to tell you, after today, it's all downhill. I mean, he's going to tell you that's garbage, but they'll soon find out also. God's give us too much proof, too many signs, too many watchmen are all saying the same thing. We're all on the same page when we're going to tell you that he's on his way and he's not happy. America has dished Israel. Now Israel is all alone, just like it said it would be. And here we are. Jesus is on his way to get the bride. Be ready. I love each and every one of you. If I don't see or hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven. Thank you once again for tuning in to Global Rapture Watchers, where we do daily updates here on YouTube, letting you know that we're one day closer to our Lord and Savior coming back. Thank you for all the support for this channel. This channel was created for God's sheep, those that are waiting for their Lord and Savior to come back and get us in these last days. We do updates once to two times a day here on YouTube. Thank you for all your support for the channel. God bless each and every one of you.